And I hope you all had a uh, good time during uh, the Abu Dhabi International Food Exhibition through the last uh, one and a half days. You know, a lot of regulators have spoken, government associations and agencies have spoken in the last one and a half day, largely to do with the uh, food trade enablement, safety, you know, facilitating trade. And in addition, you have been meeting a number of industry partners. What I'm here to do today is to bridge the gap between the two, the key platform that bridges the gap between the government as enablers with the trade, the industry with the trade. So I present to you Abu Dhabi Food Hub, and I will, uh, you know, at the later stages of the presentation, I will highlight upon and stress upon uh, what is the importance of this wholesale market in facilitating your access to some of the largest and the fastest growing consumer markets. So Abu Dhabi Food Hub, this is a joint venture partnership. This is the first and the uh, first public-private partnership in the UAE's food space between Abu Dhabi Ports Group and Ghassan Abud Group, which is the private entity. And the, there's also a technical collaboration with the world's number one wholesale market, which is based in Paris. It's called Ranges. So a combination of the three entities coming together to build one of the uh, most significant projects, one of the most important projects for the UAE. And this is part of the UAE's food security agenda. So what you see here is the strategic goals of the food security agenda, you know, ranging from enabling trade, enabling sustainable technology practices, reducing the food waste and food loss, uh, you know, ensuring safety in food, uh, and also in increasing the nutritional intake, and most importantly is also the enhancing the capacity for handling the food trade and growing food trade within the region. So what is Abu Dhabi Food Hub? The Food Hub is a three and a half square kilometers of wholesale market and a logistics platform and which is being built in the uh, area B of Kizad within Abu Dhabi. Th with this uh, footprint, Abu Dhabi Food Hub will be the first and the largest such dedicated food wholesale market in the entire Middle East. And the three uh, multiple areas are how the Food Hub will be facilitating trade. Number one, uh, it's a multi-category wholesale market, which means that there's, for the first time in the UAE, Wholesale trading of all food categories will be based within one single site location. This includes everything from fruits and vegetables, dry commodities, uh, meat, seafood, poultry, dairy, dates, flowers, and so on. So this is a one-stop shop market in its entirety and an integrated market, which includes all of the value chain players to be uh, you know, housed within the food hub in addition to all of the government authorities being inside the food hub. So this makes it in a completely integrated food city in its own, which is again the first, first time in the Middle East. And as the enabler of, and the operator of this uh, market, one of the key uh, approaches that we have been taking is it's not just a market where you know, customers come in, traders come in and just take up space and operate on their own. This is a fully integrated hub, which also includes the service offering as part of the operator's offerings. Includes the entire logistics offering, value-added solutions, uh, you know, all of the solutions which, and services which are required for the international traders, for the local traders, to introduce new products and access the market, to completely be operational when they want to enter into this market. So as I explained, uh, the food hub is a complete ecosystem of its own. On the left, what you see is what is the core ecosystem of the food hub. That is part of the infrastructure that enables the traders, that enables the sellers to be here. And the sellers includes everyone from traders, aggregators, wholesalers, uh, manufacturers, processors, and every kind of entity which is planning to sell the products. So this is the ecosystem of sellers. And what sellers get within the food hub is the entire physical infrastructure to operate, which means it's a plug, completely plug and play ecosystem, no capex required, a completely, completely capex light model, where customers come, take up the space, and they're ready to trade. So that ecosystem includes the trading pavilions. Again, for the first time in the region, I would like to highlight, uh, there is no concept of trading in market pavilions currently in the UAE or in the Middle East. So this is a project that will be bringing forth trading pavilions which are dedicated for each product type. As an example, fruits and vegetables will be traded in you know, dedicated pavilions which are maintained at certain temperatures 
two to four degrees capability to store the products. And similarly for the dry commodities and at an ambient temperature and the frozen capabilities for the uh, frozen commodities and, and meat and seafood categories. And in addition to that, uh, there's a whole aspect of the value add logistics and processing centers within the hub. This gives opportunity for the traders to make uh, use of all of the agreements that UAE has been forging across the region and globally. So when co co companies from global markets come in here and do the value-add processing, value-add logistics activities, there's a fair bit of uh, you know, advantage that the companies can take when they look at the re-export markets. In addition to that, it, it's also a center where you know, reducing the overall cargo mileage from the point when the car products come into the market ultimately going into the destination. That adds to the efficiencies and which is the area where the processing center and value add logistics play a key role. Uh, in addition to that, obviously, to, for the uh, ad administrative purposes and facilitating the, the overall, uh, I would say, operational setup, we've got offices also in place, uh, complementary activity zones. Again, this is the area where uh, the products can be stored, packaged, and a lot of value add can be happening. These are the complementary activity zones. And most importantly, uh, within the region, when it comes to trading, traffic management has been one of the biggest pain points. You know, congestion within the wholesale markets, trucks waiting time, the buyers waiting time leads to the overall experience as well as the efficiency, uh, I would say, mismanagement. So which is where we have got the heavy and light truck parking, and there's plenty of car parks available for the buyers visiting the space. So as a combination of you know, ease of parking, getting into the pavilions within the indoor markets, the overall experience is uh, you know, enhanced much better than what we have today in the market, making this one of the most efficient ecosystems. In addition to that, uh, there is a huge uh, support ecosystem. As I mentioned earlier, this is a part public private partnership project. And the significance of this project uh, you know, has involved all of the government enablers within uh, Abu Dhabi as well as the UAE to be part of the hub. So the hub will also include all of the government enablers, as an example, uh, Abu Dhabi Food uh, Control Authorities, ADAPSA, DED, Customs, all of the enablers who are key part of managing the food trade. So they're all part of this uh, ecosystem, making it an ecosystem where traders don't have to go outside of this hub to get any of their you know, activities and processing done. And in addition to that, of course, for the uh, users of the hub, the buyers who are coming in, the ecosystem users, there are uh, plenty of other, uh, I would say, uh, services and facilities, which includes uh, all the commercial services to be provided within the facility. There's plenty of F&B, retail, cafe areas, uh, laboratories for food testing, which is, again, a key part of the, I would say, trade. And, uh, what is also unique about this project is we are also introducing a food academy as part of this project. This is to service the skill requirement, the capability requirement within the industry. The academy is going to be focusing on every aspect, whether it is the food science, whether it is part of the supply chain handling, logistics side of it, or it is the, you know, uh, I would say, upskilling the existing manpower within the industry. So located right, uh, I would say, equidistant to Dubai and Abu Dhabi, the food hub is located in area B of Kizad, which is right adjacent 26 kilometers to Khalifa port and about 50 kilometers to Jebel Ali port, and quite equidistant to both of the international airports as well, making this a completely multimodal hub. And the upcoming Etihad rail is also located about just 10 kilometers from the food hub. So from a multimodal access point of view, I think Food Hub is uh, located very, very strategically, uh, which also gives network access to some of the largest uh, consumer markets in the region. This is a quick overview as to you know, what, how do we see why should businesses be based in the UAE and what can they really benefit out of. It's a market of about 2.5 billion. This includes uh, the markets of Africa, Indian subcontinent, which comprise of the fastest growing populations globally and uh, the consumer markets as well. And the uh, infrastructure that UAE has got, everything from the financial infrastructure, the arbitration centers, to the logistics infrastructure, the competitive regime in terms of the investor-friendly regulations, the repatriation facilities, the in, uh, taxation laws, all of these are very, 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 very uh, I would say, pro-business friendly, which makes it an attractive location to be part of and redistribute for the region. 
So this is a quick summary as to how does all of this ecosystem play a role in enabling the market access. Uh, what we see as a general trend in the global markets today is that the buyers do not go to each and every market to buy commodities. They look for hubs. That is, a, I would say, a typical approach in most of the industry. They all look for hubs where they can find different commodities, different markets with um, a friendlier ecosystem to go and have the experience of buying. But such hubs need to have certain key features that they tick the boxes. One being, in, in the, particularly within the food, food industry, I think quality is of prime importance. My colleague earlier, but the speaker earlier, is quite, you know, I think very well elaborated on the need for high quality and safer products. I can't stress enough on, of, you know, enough on this aspect. The whole uh, ecosystem within the food hub is designed in such a way that we are able to manage the cold chain end to end. We are working with some of the very important partners to ensure that the food that goes out of this market is of the highest quality that is available in the UAE. Right, there's a huge importance on the food quality. And we are also working with quite a, a few financial institutions, both locally as well as globally, to ensure that we create this hub as one of the most trustworthy ecosystem. When sellers are buy, you know, selling products into the tenants into this market, they should see that when the products are being sold, they're able to get their money back. There is absolutely no, uh, I would say, the payments are being made on time. So this is a very trustworthy ecosystem that we are trying to develop. In addition to that, the whole ecosystem design and the facilities that are being laid out to support this design is you know, keeping in mind the experience that the buyers will ultimately have when they come be part of this market. And second most important thing is the focus on efficiencies. This is largely targeted at the tenants, the traders who uh, you know, wish to be part of this market. I think one of the most important uh, outcome of their presence here would be the impact on their efficiencies. Everything right from the operational efficiencies as well as the commercial efficiencies. Uh, as I mentioned, the entire integrated ecosystem housing, the logistics, the trading piece, the support ecosystem means that the cargo is not traveling across UAE. You know, there's no, uh, from a point of, uh, I would say that it comes to the port, straight into the hub, it only goes out of the hub when it needs to be delivered to the ultimate consumer not otherwise. So everything from packaging, repackaging, the whole uh, gamut of value-added activities can be done within. And what is lacking today is a one-stop shop, as I had mentioned earlier. So this particular, I think, value proposition is helpful for both. It's particularly for buyers on two aspects. Number one, they are able to find all of the commodities within a single site. So they don't have to really move around to different locations. And secondly, in terms of the procurement, from a buyer's procurement point of view, they're able to get consolidated deliveries from one single point, right? And many a times, I think it's a huge uh, value when it comes to shipping, shipping costs. Particular seller, may, buyer may just have a few pallets to buy, but there is much more uh, you know, commodity available to be shipped from the same location to the same destination. So we're able to consolidate all of those deliveries straight from one single location, which ultimately reduces the overall cost as well as the efficiencies in the transportation itself. And from the food hub side, what we are doing is, uh, very importantly, a lot of partnerships, both locally and globally. This is a very, very collaborative ecosystem. We are working with the governments as well as the non-government entities who are supporting the trade growth, uh, the entire value chain within the trade. So that's a key uh, part for us. And the go it's completely com uh, government-backed and a strong sta stakeholder-backed. Uh, what we see here today within the event uh, is that there are many uh, stakeholders who are looking to sort of look at the supply chain to be housed within one single place and bring in efficiencies. And we see all of those players completely backing up the uh, aspect here. And strengthening trade and logistics infrastructure. Again, uh, the infrastructure that we're building here, as I mentioned, is a completely, uh, is managing the complete end-to-end -end cold chain management, looking at uh, the aspect of every commodity, what it requires. So product is that the, I would say, a key to our uh, infrastructure design as part of this hub. And most importantly, there is an equal pro value proposition for both buyers and sellers through the marketing activities, through the uh, promotion activities which are being planned by the hub. So ultimately, I think it's the entire uh, congregation of all of the initiatives, the infrastructure, the work that we're doing, which is going to lead to a lot of buyers coming into this market, a lot of uh, sales happening through this market, which makes it a very, very important platform for the global traders to 
benefit from, use, make use of the market and access the wider region from the UAE. Thank you. Happy to address any questions.